Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about two state management libraries for the front end, MobX and Redux, both of which are typically used with React, but don't have to be. Redux is the more popular option and has been around for longer, and MobX is recently emerging as a strong contender. For a lot of people, including myself, I wanted to know the differences between the two and when to pick one over the other. It really comes down to MobX being automatic, having a lot of magic happening behind the scenes, and Redux being manual and explicit, and you define everything yourself. So with Redux, if you're unfamiliar with the model, you dispatch actions. You manually dispatch these actions, and they have a type, and they have a payload sometimes, and sometimes they also have metadata. This goes down this pipeline of through middleware. And then once it hits the middleware, it'll go through a reducer. And once it hits the reducer, that will not mutate your store, but generate the new state of your store because Redux has an immutable store, which has a lot of benefits, easy undo and redo, among a lot of other things. With this kind of explicit dispatching of actions here, and then explicit subscribing of actions here, and this explicit definition of middleware and reducers, you get a lot of control. From beginning to end, you define how your application works, it becomes predictable, and it becomes easy to reason about. Now, this pro is also the con of Redux. Because everything is manual, because you're writing everything out yourself, there's a lot of boilerplate, and usually you're going to be using a lot of different libraries to to help you get over that fact, but the problem still exists. You are, and once again, you're manually dispatching actions and manually subscribing to the store. MobX achieves the same goals as Redux, but does it a bit more simply. All you do is you have a bunch of values. These are our values, and you describe them as observable values. What an observable value is that is that when it updates, everything that depends on it updates as well. So if we mutate this value here, we don't need to dispatch an action. We don't need to have a central store. MobX doesn't have these con uh, this kind of concept. All you do is mutate. And this mutation will call a, uh, cause a mutation here and cause a mutation here. And because MobX is doing all this for you, the action dispatching for you and the action subscribing for you, it can do it in a way that's usually more smart than how you would do it yourself if you're doing it manually, like in Redux. So the main difference here is that when you want to update state in MobX, you just mutate a value. And it's as simple as that. In Redux, when you want to update state, you dispatch an action, it hits the middleware, it hits your reducers, and then it hits your store, and then your store, you have to subscribe to the store. Now, when you would pick one over the other is really when you would want a manual imp implementation over an automatic implementation. And for Redux, I think the strongest case is just that it is so testable and so predictable because you literally write everything out yourself. And that's also the con. With MobX, you don't really even need to write that much. You just plug and play. You mark things as observable, and your application starts automatically updating. And it's a choice between what you want there. MobX is still pretty predictable itself, so it's not like it loses those advantages. It's just not Redux, which is just super, super predictable, more so than anything else. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Goodbye.